If you guys need badges or a stacked NBA 2K20 account, make sure you guys go to the description and check out Goat Plugged. He's 100% legit, so go get your account now and let him know I sent you. Alright, what's good, motherfuckers? So I know, I know, you know, another build video in a week. I promise it's not becoming a trend, I'm not thirsty for views, it's just, I'm uploading a video tomorrow. I'm just uploading a video tomorrow that's gonna make a lot more sense and it's gonna be a lot easier for you guys if you just watch this video today, so trust me watch the video today for all the people that are new by the time this video is going up i should be at around 40,000 subscribers so if we're at 40k thank you guys so much for 40k subscribers that means a lot to me we are going to try to hit 100,000 subscribers at least this year so make sure you guys subscribe to that channel if you're new also i am giving away vc at the end of the month so if you guys want a chance to win that make sure you subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications and like the video comment down below your console and you'll be entered in but yeah this build we're gonna talk about this build this build is goaded uh i don't have enough good stuff to say about it to be honest i mean i i shoot pretty much green most of the time with this build it can shoot fades it could shoot threes it could throw oops it could play defense it could do just about anything in the world and um you know i definitely recommend trying this build out i mean it's definitely like a stephen curry type of build with just you know every goat tendency that you could have on it so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna get into this build because i'm not gonna waste your time but i just want to tell you guys pretty much a little synopsis of what this build is all right so we're in the my player builder now this is what is important now so make sure you guys pay attention because i'm not going to explain this twice just go ahead let's get into it so first name last name does not matter we're gonna get into the position now i'm gonna go with the point guard you guys need to go with the point guard as well shooting guard I don't know why you pick shooting guard. We could just be point guard. Go point guard. Handedness does not matter. If you like to fade on the left side more than the right, go left. If you like to fade on the right side more, go right. And we're gonna get on with it. So skill breakdown. We're actually going to pick the green, uh, the green orange one. So pretty much scroll down, find the green orange one right here. It's the playmaking and shooting, uh, you know, you know, badge system where we could get Hall of Fame badges on both those. So we're gonna be able to speed boost with this build, obviously and we're going to be able to shoot we're going to be able to do all sorts of stuff with this so so the main purpose of this build is just be super sweaty in the park to be able to win a ton to be able to have fun as well uh when you're doing it so we're gonna have to have a build that makes sense so if we were gonna make this build and choose any other pie chart but the top one it just wouldn't make sense so the first pie chart that we're going to choose for the physical profile has the highest speed and acceleration go ahead and pick that one so this is where it gets interesting this is where i kind of like messed up my first build video in the beginning of the year because i didn't really know the meta as well uh but now i got you guys and this is definitely the way you're going to want to make your build so shooting uh we're going to max out our shooting obviously so we could get our shooting badges that way i'm even going to bring it down just a little bit just so we get 23 because i don't think we need 25 that might be a little bit of overkill and we're going to need space for other stuff so we're going to go with that and we're going to go with that so that's 21 i'm going to go ahead and just get like i don't know a little bit more 24 we'll say so we got 24 playmaking 23 shooting next before we go to the defense i'm just going to go up here and we are going to max out our close shot close shots are broken this year you will not have to worry about making any any types of close shots trust me those like just keep it at 82 driving layup we don't need to touch that i don't think you like i didn't even upgrade my driving layup on the first time i made my build and it everything goes in if it's like a slightly contested layup so keep driving layup like that put your driving dunk to a 50 just so you're able to get some driving dunks because believe it or not you could actually uh dunk on fast breaks and dunk in traffic with a 50 driving dunk which is kind of cool didn't expect 2k to do anything like that but uh they did and we're gonna keep it going though we're gonna upgrade our lateral quickness our perimeter defense we're gonna max out our steel we're gonna max out our defensive rebounding and then that leaves us with 33 attributes remaining you can literally put whatever you want for the rest of this it's not gonna matter in the long run and you'll see we have a build with one finishing 23 shooting 24 playmaking and eight defensive and rebounding badges now this is where i low-key messed up on my build was i i you know thought that driving dunk and driving layup and standing there i thought that that was going to matter more when in reality i only could get one finishing so you actually get two more defensive playmaking badges out of this which is good the shooting and playmaking stay the same obviously but you get an 82 close shot that i only have like a 70 or like a 65 on my build so and like i mean i still i still green my close shots obviously but this is just going to be broken for you guys especially once you see the badges that you're going to need to have on this build it's honestly ridiculous how easy it is to and i mean like there might be a patch by the time this video goes up i hope there's not but there's not a patch out right now so close shots are broken and it's really easy to fade on them but i'm going to go ahead and continue on so body shape 
does not matter i'm just gonna go with like a solid build it does it really doesn't matter it's up to you whatever you want to do but i'm just gonna go solid now here with height i have seen people do two different options so what you're not going to want to do is go 6'4". I've seen some people put their build at 6'4". That inch is not worth it, guys. I mean, I don't know what YouTubers are telling you guys that this inch is worth it. Please do not make your guys 6'4". It's really not. I see people making these 6'4 builds. I'm just like, what are you doing, man? You, if anything, if anything, if you don't want to keep it at 6'3", make it 6'2". That's what people have been doing. I know that sounds weird. You're like, 6'2". Now, actually, a lot of good people that I know that are really, really good at the game made their player 6'2", and it's a demon. It's insane how good they are. So I would I would consider making it 6'2". For my preference, and what I'm really having a lot of fun with is the 6'3". However, if you want to go ahead and get that extra speed and extra acceleration, you can drop it down an inch because, as you see, it literally takes away post moves for you. So, like, you know, it doesn't really matter for that much. If you want to do 6'3 or 6'2", it doesn't, it, it's up to you. I'm going to actually go 6'2 for this build, though, just because we're going to see how it goes with that. But if you're more comfortable with 6'3, go ahead and be my guest. So, we're going to turn this height uh, to 6'2. We're going to turn the weight to the lowest weight, 165. So, we have 91 speed and 90 acceleration, which is three more speed than I get currently at at like 92 so that's a pretty good amount of speed plus if you're doing your uh you know gym rat stuff the weekly uh stuff in the gym you're gonna be getting like plus three or plus four to that so you're gonna have possibly like 95 94 speed and and 90 like 4 93 acceleration so you're gonna be a super fast guard and hard to guard for that um after you do that you're gonna want to low get the lowest wingspan you know so you could have that 91 three-pointer that 89 ball handling you're not gonna need anything uh, besides that people that max their wingspan out on guards are brain dead do not do that it's really just it's so stupid if you do that so lower your wingspan make sure you have the lowest wingspan so you're at that and then you come to the takeover now this is where i wish i would have waited for my build because i made myself a shot creating takeover which don't get me wrong shot creating takeover is overpowered in the sense that you could fade from half court right now so you could like that's overpowered you could green from really deep you could also like abuse it out the twos you know with greeting fades and just spamming close shots and mid ranges and all that kind of stuff so be my guest if you want to use shot creating takeover like i said this is still a good takeover this is what i use for takeover so if you want to use this go ahead but but the spot up shooter takeover is so overpowered this year it's honestly ridiculous if you get this you're not missing i mean so many people you know opted to the shot creating takeover this year and i feel like if they would have if they would have went to shooter you know we'd be in trouble so this is definitely what we're going to choose for the takeover i wish i chose this as my takeover uh it's a very very good takeover and it's pretty easy to green from anywhere so we're going to see we have made a playmaking shot creator this is the stephen curry type of build Kyrie irving jamal murray all great point guards and uh you know to be compared to but i'm going to go ahead and test the build and show you guys these badges quick all right so we're going to get right to it so the badges are going to be real first things first we got our finishing I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put Relentless Finisher on because that's just what I run and I get some like bailout layups once in a while. Shooting now. Shooting simple. Shooting we're going to put on Range Extender Hall of Fame, Green Machine Hall of Fame, Hot Zone Hunter Hall of Fame, Dead Eye Hall of Fame. Now here is where you could do whatever you want. Some people like I actually used to run Volume Shooter Hall of Fame and I used to run Tyler Shooter on Gold. I was running that for a little bit. Um, but if you'd like to, this is what I would actually run if I was, you know, in your guys' shoes. I'd go ahead and build this badge system with silver volume shooter, silver corner specialist, silver catch and shoot, and bronze Tyler scorer. That way you get the most out of your badges. Um, because I know a lot of you guys want to get more badges than that, than just like the Hall of Fame. So I would go with that for the shooting badges. Next up, we have the playmaking badges. Playmaking badges are simple, handles for days, quick first step, unpluckable tight handles on i would put that on like gold floor general on hall of fame dimer on hall of fame and then i'd put one on lob city passer because space creator is broken right now ankle breaker is broken stop and go is you don't need it this year it's just all like trust me these badges are broken actually what i would do is i would low key tight handles isn't even like that this year either i would go ahead and i'd put bail out on gold and then i put lob city passer on, on bronze that's actually more of like what i run 
So I would go ahead and do that because tight handles isn't a necessity. I don't need it at least and I dribble perfectly fine without it. So definitely try out these badges and we're going to get on to the last one, which is the defensive. Go over here. We're going to put on clamps on silver. We're going to put pick dodger on silver, pickpocket on silver, and then intimidator on bronze and interceptor on bronze. So we get a good amount of badges for this build. I would low key wish that I changed up my build a little bit because it would have been a, a hell of a lot better for me uh, on defense. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new. You guys know I'm bringing you guys videos daily. And like I said, I'm not spamming these build videos. It's literally just because I'm kind of setting it up for tomorrow's video. And if you don't see this video, it's going to be confusing tomorrow. So just bear with me. The next video, you're not going to see a build video for a couple days now, for a couple weeks, to be honest. Uh, you know, you might see some jump shot videos in there, but this is definitely the last build video for a couple uh, weeks just because I got a lot of stuff in store for you guys and I'm going to start streaming soon. So make sure you guys go ahead and hit all my socials, follow them down below and uh, they're on the screen right there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video though. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm Fitzy and I'll see you next time.